Hey everybody, this is Jake from WebWatch, and today we're going to talk about six of NASA's weirdest space station concepts. These were concepts drawn up by artists and engineers at NASA and the U.S. military from as long as almost 100 years ago. So, let's get into it. First up, we have the inflatable space station concept from 1961. Unlike many other early space station concepts, this design actually made it out of the concept phase and into production, though no models were ever flown. This particular station was 30 feet and expandable. It was designed to be taken to outer space in a small package and then inflate in orbit. The station could, in theory, have been big enough for one to two people to use for a long period of time. A similar 24-foot station was built by the Goodyear Aircraft Corporation for NASA test use. The concept of space inflatables was revived in the 1990s. Number 2. Orbit and Launch Facility Concept This is a concept drawing of an orbit and launch facility. It was to use a nuclear SNAP-2 nuclear power supply on the end of a long telescoping boom. These nuclear reactors were considered very dangerous, which is why in this concept drawing, it was located so far away from the habitat part of the station. Creators envisioned the structure being built in orbit to allow assembly of the station in orbit, which could then be larger than anything that could be launched from Earth. The two main modules were to be 33 feet in diameter and 40 feet in length. When combined, the modules would create a four-deck facility, two decks to be used for lab space, and two decks to be used for operations and living quarters. Number three, the roof space station concept. This is the Johnson Space Center's 1984 roof concept for a space station. The roof was covered with solar array cells that were to generate about 120 kilowatts of electricity. Within the V-shaped beams, there would be five modules for living, laboratory space, and external areas for instruments and other facilities. Number four, the Spider Space Station concept. Known as the Spider concept, this station was designed in 1977 to use space shuttle hardware. A solar array was to be unwound from the exhausted main fuel tank. The structure could then be formed and assembled in one operation. The main engine tank would then be used as a space operations control center, a shuttle astronaut crew habitat, and a space operations focal point for missions to the moon and Mars. Number five, artificial gravity space station. This station, drawn in 1969, was to rotate on its central axis to produce artificial gravity. The majority of early space station concepts created artificial gravity one way or another in order to simulate a more natural or familiar environment for the health of the astronauts. After returning from a microgravity environment, astronauts find their muscles weak because they have not been using them. Long-term exposure to microgravity could generate long-term health problems for astronauts who do not utilize their muscles. This is why there are exercise machines on space shuttles and the International Space Station. Number 6, my personal favorite, Nordung's Space Station Habitat Wheel from 1929. Hermann Nordung created the first detailed technical drawings of a space station. Power was generated by collecting sunlight through the concave mirror in the center. This was one of three components of Nordung's space station. The other two were an observatory and the machine room, each connected to the habitat by an umbilical. And that is all the time we have for today. If you really like this video and want to see more, consider subscribing. We will have many, many more videos just like this one and a few not quite like this one to come in the very near future. This has been Jake from WebWatch. Thanks for watching.